All right, uh, bat. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, poison. You do not want to be poisoned, like I said, because poison will slowly kill you over time. Hey guys, my name is Gemselex, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Dark Cloud. Last time we started the adventure with everything going to hell. As you can see, our village has been destroyed by the Dark Genie from the, I believe it's the east. West or east, I think it's the east. But anyways, let's start off by going in here. This is our villager, Chief, I believe his name. I'm not sure what his name is, but he's the chief slash mayor of our village. Ah, oh, Justin, you're alive. Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this happened. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about, about it. What am I supposed to do now? I have no idea. Okay, let's see. I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of the Nairun village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask. Justin, go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Dran what happened. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside towards your right hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the cave key. And he gives us a key to get into the cave. Now this will be our first dungeon to explore. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away if you get in trouble in there. Come back here and I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. Okay guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and go over what we have here. So if you hit triangle, you can go to your items. In items, you can see all the items you have. He gave us water, bread, repair powder, escape powder. We'll go over what all this stuff is. If you hit R1, you can go over to your weapon. This is our weapon. This is the dagger. It's what you start off with every, um, well, I'm not going to say it, but, uh, our character here starts off with this dagger and these are attachments. This is just something I'm going to go over as we go along. So here we have a weapon. As you can see, you get more weapons as you go along and you can see attack, endurance, speed, magic. This is just a bunch of stuff. I'll explain when it becomes relevant. Uh, allies. Well, as you can see, it's just us. So as time goes on, we'll meet more uh, we'll meet other characters, uh, bleh, other characters, but for now we're gonna actually go ahead and take a look around. You can actually press, press, I think it's R2. You can go like into first person. This can be useful when going inside houses, cause and when you go inside of houses, there might be like chests that you won't normally see. I don't know, but yeah. So now we have to go to the dungeon itself. So we'll go there in just one moment. Sorry about that, guys. Just to go, I had to go grab a drink from my throat. All right, let's go ahead and open up this door. If you open up this door, you should find a spiky bug. Now, this is bait. This is something you can use for fishing, which we'll go over later when it's relevant. But for now, let's go ahead and make our way over to the Vine Beast Cave, I believe it's called. So. As you can see, the cave is all the way over there. Now, if you hit select on the controller, you can go ahead and fast travel by doing that, which is actually really awesome. So I can go from one point of the map to the other, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and fast, like, you know, tr get over there really quickly. So, so here we have um, the Vine Beast Cave. Oh, yeah. Got to use a uh, square to use our key. So let's go ahead and use a key and open this up and go into our first dungeon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start comparing this to other games. This is the Divine Beast Cave. This is like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon because you'll be exploring multiple floors and you'll see like a grid-like system. It kind of it's kind of like um Pokemon Mystery Dungeon only, you know, it's uh what's it called again? I think it's real time like when you're fighting. But anyways, here we have the first floor. It's up to us to explore the dungeon collect all the Alta Alta to rebuild our village. So let's go ahead and go to the first floor. Okay. As usual, we're going to get interrupted by Navi. I mean, the Fairy King. Which, Fairy and King don't seem like a good fit. So here he's going to go ahead and go over... Um, yeah, Divine Decays. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to find the gate key. You need to find the gate key to move on to the next level. So, for example, we're on level 1. To get to level 2, we must find the gate key. And a, a, a random enemy will be carrying this gate key, so we must kill the enemy to get this key. 
The gate key is almost always carried by a monster. You must defeat the monster and acquire the key. key. Yep, I just said that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, to return to the ground level, we either uh, press, we either um, axe to leave dungeon. But if there's still enemies on the floor, we can't leave unless we have escape powder. So that's another thing. Uh, the Nairun village chief has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. And then he's gonna tell us about weapons. You can, um, when you use weapons over time, they break, and you have to use repair powder to make sure that they don't break. Because if you are upgrading a weapon and that weapon breaks, then you lose it completely, which is why repair powder is very important. So yeah, the longer you upgrade your weapon, the better weapon you'll get. It's a bunch of stuff I'll have to go over little by little. It's very confusing. Alta, we have to collect on the floors and use that Alta to rebuild our village. It's just so much that he tells you, and I try to explain it in a way that's fast and understandable. So here we are on the first floor. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. So on these floors, we'll find random enemies. Here we have the cave, the cave bat. Be very careful with these enemies as they can poison you. That's a status infection that you can get. Uh, if you get poisoned, it's not good. It's actually very bad to start off being poisoned. So here we have the map. On each uh, floor, you'll always find a map and a dark crystal. The dark, the map will show you the whole entire area. Uh, the dark crystal is like the compass because it, it will show you like treasure chests and enemies. So it's very similar to Legend of Zelda in, in a way. So here we have the dark crystal. This is the magical crystal. The magical crystal will show you where all enemies and all chests are in the floor. So here we have a piece of Alta, Alter, Alta. So we got a fence. So we have to use what we find to rebuild our village. Now, I remember seeing this game when I was younger and my cousin used to play and I used to watch him. And I remembered it when uh, looking on some videos online. I was like, oh, I think I remember this game. Oh, we got bread. So here we have Dasher, another uh, annoying enemy. They like to run straight at you. This is the skeleton soldier. We just fought one before. They usually try to attack you and block with their shield. So here we have the gate key, or in this case, the Dren's Crest. So we can use that to move on to the next level. Let's go ahead and open up this. So we have to open up all these balls, I guess you, you could call it, to use it to rebuild our village. So let's go ahead and make our way up to the top there. Now looking on the map, you'll see uh, red dots are enemies. The green is the Alta, the, blue, the balls that we... I, I know I keep using that term the altar that we have to collect um let's see what else can i say uh the orange are the treasure chests that are on the floors you want to open as many of those chests as possible because you'll always get something nice for it so in this case we got some trees that's nice uh this is a pond you'll uh commonly see this on the floors if you step in it you'll be fully healed and your thirst will be quenched uh something else you can do is you go to if you go to items you can place uh the items you have and the active item, so you can like, quickly use it by pressing uh, square when you're out on the field. So here we have water and bread. It's very important that um, our character does not uh, uh, dehydrate. He has to keep uh, drinking water as he goes through the floors. You can see on the top left, you can see health is 70. You can see uh, how much time he has left until his weapon breaks. We're already halfway there until, our, until his weapon breaks. Now the weapon he starts off with is the dagger, and the dagger is always going to break very quickly because it's his first weapon. But since it's his first weapon, it he will always have it no matter what. So, because if he didn't have the dagger, he wouldn't have anything to fight with. So, the dagger uh, sucks. I can honestly tell you guys, uh, it sucks. So we're gonna kill these daggers. So once your weapon gets close to breaking, it's going to make a very loud noise, like, or beeping noise. As you can see, it's at 10, so it's about to break. Now this chest is a... Oh uh, gosh, it's a big chest. Now, whenever you see these chests, you can either use a, a treasure chest key to open it, or you can guess the trap. Now, the worst that could happen is being poisoned, so we're going to go for poison. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's see, what do we got? Oh, a base law. That's not a bad weapon. So there we go. We found our first weapon. So we can go ahead and put that on if we want. Let's take a look at it. Now, there's a certain weapon I'm looking for, and it's called it's called the Gladius. I love it so much. That's the uh, weapon I'm trying to get. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, repair powder. Nice. Repair powder is always welcomed. Let's go ahead and open this. And uh, another bait. Piece of bait. All right. Uh, bat. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Is poison. 
You do not want to be poisoned, like I said, because poison will slowly kill you over time. And our dagger is about to break. Yeah. Oh, and as you work, um, uh, it's just, just so much to tell you guys. Um, <laughs> um, the more you use a weapon, the more levels or experience it gets. As you can see, the blue bar under uh, the weapon is fully loaded. I'll go ahead and point at it or show you guys what I'm talking about. But the blue bar is fully charged up which means it's ready to be upgraded so if you go to weapon and you go to upgrade we can upgrade it to its next level so let's go ahead and do that and so it becomes dagger level one as you can see there it says dagger plus one so it becomes a little stronger it gets a little better endurance and speed and stuff but it's gonna break soon and if it breaks then well you're screwed so here we have an antidote drink we'll go ahead and actually i'm gonna hold off from drinking that we're going to make uh, Tone here suffer. <laughs> but we got to drink the antidote soon. Now there is some Alta down here. I want to go drink that. I mean not drink that. Uh, get those. Alright. Got another character there. Alright. Let's go ahead and drink the antidote so we don't die. And use... Uh, I don't really want to use the repair powder because he'll always give you more repair powder. I just really want to, um, oh, don't hit me. Uh, I really want to go get that Alta and then leave. Let's see here. So it's over here. So starting off, this game is going to be kind of a challenge because you're not going to really have any good weapons besides the dagger. And if you do find a weapon, then that's good. But there is a certain weapon I'm looking for because I love it. It's like my favorite weapon to start off with for Toen here. This character's name is Toen, but I nicknamed him after myself, after my name. Uh, the Dasher is chasing after me. Anyways, to leave to the next floor, you just have to go over to this door right here. It's the yellow door on your map. And go ahead and use the key to open it. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to return to... Uh, Nairun village. So I'll see you guys back at Nairun village. Okay, when you come back to Nairun village after completing at least one of the floors, uh, Fairy Queen here, Fairy Queen, Fairy King will interrupt you and tell you that you can now rebuild your village. So, in our inside our Atamala, I can never really say it's called Atalama, you can return your village to its um, original form and blah 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 blah. I'll show you guys how to do that. Yep, yep, you can like rebuild. It's really cool rebuilding your own village because you can build it how you want it to look like. And he gives you a mana roll, which we don't need. Alright. Yeah, I know. He's very confused. I'm confused too as to why some random old man keeps talking to me. But anyways, if you go ahead and hit select, we can go ahead and hit triangle. And we can start rebuilding, rebuilding our village. Now we got river, we got road, we got trees. So we can place the characters where they go and the items that need to go for those houses and you can start placing them wherever you want. I'm going to hold off from doing this just for a second just because I want to get a few more things together before I start doing that. What I'm going to go do now is go back to the villager so that he can give me some antidote because I ran out of antidote. And I am, I am going to... No, we won't do that yet. I want to repair my sword. But let's go ahead and go in here. So he's not going to give me more repair powder because I already have some, but he will give me an antidote. I think. No, he didn't. Why didn't he give me? Okay, there we go. I was like, give me some antidote. Okay, so he gave me an uh, antidote. That's what we want. Okay. Can I put that there? No, I can't put that there. Alright. What else do we have? So let's see. Is there anything in his, in his, in his, in his door? No? Okay. I'm just trying to see if any uh, chests spawn in his house, because chests do randomly sometimes spawn inside the character's houses. Not this house yet. It will later, but oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and go back outside. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and do the next floor of the Vine Bees Cave, because I do want to get at least one more floor in before we end the episode off. We're about uh, 16 minutes in, but I do have to do a little bit of editing. Nothing too much because I'm constantly talking. So let's go ahead and go to B2. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a cat. 
Why is there a cat down here? Okay, the cat just fell into the wall and disappeared. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna repair this weapon just because that beeping noise will get on my nerves otherwise. So let's just repair it so it doesn't break. Okay, and let's start exploring this next floor. What do we got? We got a bat. That was actually really lucky of me to find a weapon on the first floor. That was pretty cool. Okay, so that's an attachment for your weapons. Um, when you're leveling up your weapons, you're able to put attachments on it. And it oh, you freaking serious? Uh. Screw you. I already got poisoned. Jesus Christ. Um, you're able to put attachments on your weapons when you're about to upgrade them. And the attachments, will make, the attachments you get will make the weapon even stronger. I'll go ahead and show you an example of that after I cure my poison. Because I don't want to be poisoned. So, for example, if I go over to weapon and go here and go to customize, we can put this endurance one right there. And you see on the bottom there where it says ED. It goes up by one so that will uh, increase that and you can see other attributes there it's it's just a lot of really cool stuff that we will be going over over a course of time now this is a ghost enemy ghost enemies are weak to certain uh, weak to holy magic because in this game there is magic uh, uh, the dagger is wind has a uh, wind magic on it as you can see if you swing your sword it makes like a green it's like a green uh, slice, I guess you could say. Here we got a uh, skeleton soldier. Kill him. And another dasher. Okay. Let's see. Nope, he didn't drop the item I needed. Okay, let's see what's inside this chest. Hopefully something good. Oh, bait. Okay. Alright, not bad. Now, since we're not able to go fishing yet, you are able to sell the bait for quite a bit. You can actually sell it for a good amount of money. Usually that's what I do is I just sell it because I have no use for it yet. Um, okay, that's the exit. We don't have the gate key. I don't think we have it yet. We'll get it soon. Don't you dare try to kill me. Oh, there it is. So we could leave. Oh, okay, that's a very close up. Big close up of me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we could leave now if we wanted to, but we're not going to because we still have to collect the Alta on this floor and find the other chest that may be here. Oh, I got a dasher here. It's going to kill him. All right. Yeah, guys, it's just a lot of stuff to go over. But to put it into... To make it... Oh, okay. So for this, this is a, a door here. This is a bone-shaped keyhole. So we have to get a, a... I don't think I got it, did I? I didn't. I don't think I did. No, we didn't get it. Okay. So we need a key to open that, which you can find on, the, on this certain level. Um, it's probably in a chest down here. So yeah, pretty much... Um, you'll be exploring dungeons like this constantly exploring floor to floor and fighting enemies and upgrading your weapons and stuff so here we got dasher freaking bats are the worst I can't stand the bats now something you are able to do is if you hold this if you press X and hold it you're able to do that which is really good that'll kill the bat with one hit I recommend doing that so that you don't get poisoned like I did all right what do we got here we got Garfra's buggy oh, I guess that's cool no what's this oh magical crystal oh so we can see other stuff okay now this right here guys this I don't know what you would really call this this is either a blessing or a curse if you step on this it'll either do something really good or something really bad so let's see how it's gonna start off for me Pumped with energy. So we got pumped with energy. Pretty much what that means is that when you get pumped with en energy, it's called stamina. And stamina increases how much damage you do to enemies. So for example, for a short period of time, we are now stronger than usual. So we can go up here and uh, kill the enemies up here now. Let's see. We got a chest over here. Let's go ahead and open that. Now this should contain the key. Nope, that's the map. Now the key should be in the chest over here instead. Yep, there it goes, the bone key, that's what we need. Let's go ahead and get the cave bat with this uh, attack. Oh no, no, screw you. Now I don't want the, the dagger to break because I do plan on breaking it down. Um, when your weapons get to level five or higher, you're able to break them down and put them on other weapons. So I want to kind of wait until 
the dagger gets to level 5, break it down, and then use that attachment on another weapon, which is something I like to do. Now, there we go. We got another piece of alta there. Getting thirsty. Need water or will begin to affect health. Okay. That's fine. I have water right here if I need it. Now, to start off, this game can be a big challenge because, one, you don't have... Uh, strong you don't have a strong weapon you don't have a lot of health or food and you don't have repair powder so um, pretty much if I drink my water so we don't die uh, pretty much the, the game starting off can be a big challenge but as you go on and you get um, you meet more you get more party members and you get more weapons and stuff it becomes easier and easier the only thing I would say is you just have to keep working on upgrading your weapons and making them stronger. So hopefully we'll find a, the weapon I'm looking for. It's called the Gladius. I'll know it when I see it. Now let's go ahead and use the bone key here. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We got a chest right here. That's stand-in powder. Okay. I know what that's used for, but we can't use that yet. Now what's this? Okay, bread. That we can use bread to heal health if we uh, take, or if we start getting hurt. <laughs> uh, here we have a cave bat. Let me see if I could do that. There we go. That will kill him in one hit, which is good. So the weapon has already gone to its next level, so we can go ahead and just upgrade it. Let's go ahead and do that. So it'll be level two now, and the attack goes up by a little bit, and so it does endurance, which is good. So let's go ahead and open up this altar. I want to end the episode off here soon getting quite long we got that and we have one more thing here and then we have to wake our, make our way to the exit i am just a mouth i am just talking so much just because of the fact that there's just so much that i have to go over all right that's all the enemies dead on this floor so we can now make our way over to the exit which is where the yellow square is so yes, this is a, a PS2 classic. I really love this game. I spent a lot of time playing it. And um, at this point, I would say I got this game down. Like, I know what I'm doing. Um, Alright. Let's go ahead and use that and get out of here. Okay, guys. Here we are back at Narun Village. We're gonna just going to go ahead and come over here and talk to our friend here see if he can give us some stuff okay i think he gave us stuff yes he did okay go ahead and put the water there we'll put the bread there and yeah there you go not bad now i don't think there's anything in here yet not that i know of nope okay so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here so next time let's play dark cloud we will explore more of divine beast cave and hopefully start being able to get stuff because oh, we do have this sword here which is really good we're not going to use it yet but we'll hold on to it but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and share subscribe to become a gem and i'll see you all next time bye bye it's like this is the most challenging freaking puzzle i will ever do in my damn life it's like jesus why is this so damn difficult it's like something in the middle is just not connecting.